What's up guys and welcome to a long awaited video. Today is the day. I have my Easy Link tuning in here uh, from PPEI and we've got our 5 inch Flow Pro exhaust. So with the tuning I also got the uh, shift on the fly switch so I'm going to be putting that in my dash probably about right there. Um, but I also got something that a lot of you are not going to like and you're going to be like oh come on man. But I got some good news for you after I tell you obviously what the bad news is. Back here with my large array of tools. <laughs> That's right we have the Flow Pro 5 inch twister brace resonator. Yes, technically I am not doing a full 5 inch straight pipe. However, if the kit comes as I think and the resonator came how it did, I'm going to be short one clamp. I do not have a welder here and I do not have an extra clamp here. The good news is this truck is going to be a 5 inch straight pipe. The bad news is I don't know for how long. Me personally, uh, with the neighborhood I live in, and you know the, the long highway trips I do like just you know almost every other weekend I'm taking a two-hour highway trip and uh, especially like next week I'm taking a three-hour highway trip uh, I do a lot of highway driving and I do not want to sit there with my ears ringing uh, because of the drone so um, some people are like oh the drone isn't bad and some people are like oh my god the drone is horrible but for now it's gonna be a five inch turbo back straight pipe I'm actually really excited to hear the exhaust break uh, so Let's get into it. So what a lot of people say to do is tune the truck first. Tune it like you're running it with the DPF and everything off. So just in case something happens, you know, the truck is already tuned, you can move it, stuff like that, nothing goes wrong, everything's straight up front. So that's what we're gonna do first, is we're gonna tune the truck. I may just do it simple because I'm gonna be low, running the low tune because obviously you guys know this is a six speed manual. So until I get an upgraded clutch, it will burn it if I run anything over the 30 horse tune. Let's break out this easy link, hook it up, and I know I gotta run the cable from underneath the hood, so. Let's get that run. We're gonna open the box here, and here is your Easy Link tuner. Uh, very, you know, lightweight, very nice. You get a nice sticker. I love when companies send you stickers, so we got that. Holder for that, and open it up in here, and here's all the goodies. I'm actually mostly excited about this. I finally get a phone mount for my truck, because uh, as you guys know, this is cloud tuning and tuning with your phone. So uh, I'm super excited for this. I can put my phone in something. Here is the connector for your OBD2 to your Easy Link, and this is only if you have a RAM. All right, so before I dig completely into uh, deleting this truck, I'm not doing the EGR cooler delete today. I'm just gonna shut it off with the tuner. Different different day, different project, different video. But we're gonna get the DPF, the DEF, all that stuff off today. But obviously a lot of you are going to want a before and after sound clip comparison. Let me give you guys a startup right now. So we're gonna hook this up to your OBD2 port here. And as you can see, your Easy Link now has power. On your OBD2 connector here, there is a nice little uh, USB adapter. And then we're gonna run this under the hood. All right, so in your engine bay here, obviously you can see you're on the driver's side. Right behind your, uh, what's part of your EGR here, you can see there's a little diagnostic port that is capped off and zip tied. That's where you're gonna take off this right here and you're gonna plug that cord in here. We have our shift on the fly switch installed. Ran through the firewall here, all zip tied up. I'll probably drill a hole here and zip tie it one more time, but it's connected to the driver's side um, crankcase. Uh, pressure sensor as you can see yeah, we have a slight casualty here, but uh, it's that sensor back there uh, But you're gonna leave it unplugged and you're gonna plug your soft uh, Switch into what was plugged into that sensor and you're gonna leave the sensor uh, unplugged So we can see where we marked here and just gape out tune your truck like I said you got so many options here I click on no emissions with the soft switch 
uh, shift on the fly, no emission version. 30 to 180 horsepower. That's what it is. I'm gonna be running. I'm gonna be running the 30 horse tune until I get my new clutch. But it gets everything up there. Tire size 37. And you're gonna click install. And there we go. That's a big pipe. Flow Pro, come on, man. Let's go. Cool. But as, you, <laughs> as you uh, as you read the sticker here, um, because this truck is going to be a uh, uh, a racing truck in Mexico, we're okay for this. Uh, Mexico, you know, off-road races, that's it. But for Opro, that's a nice sticker. I haven't seen one like this before. This is what we call the motherfucking tool. It's an exhaust hanger removal tool. So we should call it the motherfucking tool because it will make taking these motherfuckers off a lot easier. Oh, there goes my knuckle. All right, so literally the downpipe right now, so much soot in it. So I mean, the DPF does its job, but I, I just don't like it how all the soot is stuck here. Okay, so we took end up taking this wheel liner out because this downpipe clamp is a pain in the butt. So taking it out, you have ease of access, and you can line everything up so much easier. But yeah, makes it ten times easier. Just take the wheel liner out. Right, guys as you can see it is now 1051 we are extremely dirty here uh, uh ben is going to put his windshield back up on his jeep but um ben helped me out my girlfriend was filming we were here all night so i want to say thank you to them especially because without them i would not be able to get this done you know second hands on the pipe stuff like that uh different angles get the down pipe on stuff i want to say thank you to them the truck is deleted um not e not egr cooler delete yet we're gonna get to that but as for dpf it's gone it's all right here. In the morning, we're gonna tidy up a few things. Don't wanna make too much noise here, because it's late. We should be uh, good to go. So uh, I'll probably continue this in the morning, finish this up, and then uh, give you a few more sound clips. All right, so getting under the truck, as you can see, I've already started. Here's all these, um, you know, prongs. I don't know if anyone could tell me the exact name for these. This is the only harness I had to tie up here, because first of all, if anyone could help me get this hunk of junk off, let me know because I know there's a connector up here, but it looks like it slides on and locks and I can't figure out how to get this off. But so if someone can leave this in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated. But this whole harness I'm taping up and I'll come back here, electrical tape this one, this one, and obviously all the open holes another day. I said I was gonna give you guys a few more sound clips. So uh, that's what we're gonna do here. Super, super excited. I'll leave the exhaust brake on so you guys can get some uh, sounds. My favorite part about this whole thing, it honestly, it smells, smells like a diesel again, which is amazing.
It's obviously not as loud as a 5.9, but here's something most of you guys don't see. Six-speed manual uh, Cummins on the internet. Not many people have one, so this is nice, especially this color. So, uh, this is your exhaust brake. I actually like because I, I, I hate rubbing. Uh, I had a stack on my last truck and it was just cut. The bed was covered in soot the whole time and then when I had the side exit, the bumper was always black. So I like that these are clean tunes um, and obviously I don't have a clutch yet to get on and get a higher tune, but for what it is, it sounds, it sounds good. Still a little loud for me. It sounds good. Love the whistle and uh, the MPG. I'm, I'm actually I'm mostly excited about that. You guys enjoy because you know that's just the start of it obviously um, I'm gonna want to mess with it more get a clutch and stuff uh, I did not feel it did not feel it slip at all and that was the 30 horse tune obviously I'm not trying to put it crank it up to you know buck 50 buck 80 and, and, and burn the clutch up on the 30 horse tune it drives a lot better and obviously it sounds good to you guys I mean it's not loud don't get me wrong but it's just like something where it's like do I want to hear that every day I don't know I want to say thank you guys for watching if you haven't been here before and you you, you enjoy my build enjoy my truck I want to say get down there click subscribe enjoy the video shoot a thumbs up and I'll say take care and I will see you guys in the next video peace